I will um, take a moment to say I have been asked by a few of you today to apologize to Trump or Republicans, depending on the speaker, for sharing a picture of a sign that was put up in Tucson last week. I find it completely hypocritical for you to demand of me what you don't of your candidate for president. I'll make you a deal. I'll acknowledge wrongdoing when Trump apologizes for the racist, misogynistic, sexist, inflammatory comments he's made about women people of color, LGBTQ, immigrants, and frankly, anyone who disagrees with him or isn't one of his fans. Um, the next 49 days are going to be very trying for our community and we'll have a lot of healing to do after the election. In the future, I'll commit to pausing before sharing posts that might incite the kind of harassment and threatening comments and messages from people mostly outside of my district and outside of the state of Arizona. I'm the third uh, legal immigrant that's speaking today. I come from Cuba, a communist country. Now, Adelita, what you said, where I come from in Cuba, if you said that to someone, those are fighting words. Fighting words. So, in my opinion, it's hate speech, and you prohibit us from talking about hate. So I think that ask the people, yeah. it's hate speech, Correct. it's hate speech, and we should walk you right out of here. But you have protection from the corporate media who is not going to say anything about it. In the meantime, our president, former president, President Trump, the man, it's been attempted suicide twice. Why? Because the corporate media promotes it. Thank you.